Hey beautiful people, in this tutorial I want to be talking about webhooks, uh, how to do a custom redirect of a link. So let's get right to it. Um, first of all we have over here uh, the Fruity Vista tour. So we have Netherlands, Algeria and USA. Uh, we have the tour, it starts with Netherlands, um, but obviously we can start uh, the tour with anything else. I mean, also start with USA or Algeria so but how can we make it happen so that after filling in a form such as on Calendly um, that it will do the following so we're gonna I'm going to schedule a meeting with myself like this and let's say uh, I'm from USA so let's see what's going to be happening schedule events you are scheduled with Ronald, redirecting, and it shows me USA instead of the Netherlands, which was the first one. And this is what I want to go uh, through with you guys. All right, so um, the first thing would be to create a Calendly event. Uh, for now, I'm using Calendly. It can be any form, as long as a form can be submitting data through a URL. Um, so let's uh, let's start something. Uh, geolocation tutorial, uh, location, custom, together dot pro. Uh, update, and let's say next. Okay, about the schedule. Okay, I don't really care that much. So I'm having my Calendly event over here. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to add a custom question. So over here, I'll just uh, replace this with something like radio buttons. And I'm going to say, I'm going to name the answers to exactly uh, the three locations that I have available in my Freddy Vista tour. So I'm going to say Netherlands, I'm going to say Algeria, and I'm going to say USA. And I'm going to say, Okay, apply. Now save and close. And this Calendly event right now, when we refresh this and confirm, you can see I'm asking here for those three uh, things, or well, three options that I give. Now, what I need to do in Calendly, there's an option that I can say confirmation page, go to an external site, and there's this thing, pass event details to your redirect page. So this is what we're going to be turning on. Now, what's what's happening with this? So let, let's take my own website and I'll put this here, save and close, just to indicate a little bit what's going on. Uh, I'll schedule an event, Ronald, uh, and let's say Algeria, schedule. So now the redirect, this is happening. So the passing data, uh, it is basically adding all of this uh, in the URL to whatever that is. And so we can send this to any website, like my 360 Creators website, but we can also send this to a webhook. Now you might be wondering, what is a webhook? I don't know how to explain it yet. Um, let, let's just go with it. So over on the right side, we have make. Uh, Make is an automation uh, software tool uh, that I really love using. Alternatively, you have Zapier and you have N8N uh, and some other platforms. Um, but this one I'm getting quite comfortable with. So with Make, we can say plus, we start a new scenario. We use webhooks and we say custom webhook. And we say add. I'm going to say uh, Calendly tutorial webhook, okay, and I'm going to hit save. Now, what it is going to be doing is it's going to determine the data structure. And as we have over here, this whole thing, all these details, we can copy this, remove everything. Uh, wait, let, let's keep it in here, by the way. So just put it because I first need to copy this webhook over here. 
and now I need to copy all of this data right over here and now just so that you can see that it's happening so it's searching now to get this the structure and so when I hit enter you'll see successful okay accepted and successfully determined so right now what that does is it's creating a lot of variables that Calendly is offering um, as an output so let's see um, and what we can do now is we can basically uh, send an email based on this information uh, with all the variables that are set within Calendly such as the name the email address uh, and that location but the location is the thing we want to be focusing on right now so um, one of the parts of all this data is the location so what we can do um, people will be seeing that that strange white screen basically so um, let me just do this one more time copy here okay now it says not found but other times it says accepted but it's a white screen and so what will happen after scheduling something in Calendly people will be seeing this white screen and it's like accepted or not found or whatever and that's kind of like a little odd so basically we need to add some trigger so let me just show you first how that looks like what i just mentioned um, so i say okay um, and so when we go to calendly we say confirmation page and we are going to be changing the redirect url to this weapon so copy address paste save and close so what's happening right now is we do this I'm making another appointment with myself Ronald uh, you say whatever and so this is happening right now so now it says there's no uh, scenario listening for this web book it's because this is still in development thing we haven't published a, a scenario yet so we need to run this let's run this refresh this yes okay so it will actually just say accepted and then this is strange for an end user to see um, however we can now uh, see all the data that we just uh, got from the calendar event so all of this um, so what we need to do now is we need to add a webhook response and this took me some time to figure this out yes so it took me some time to figure this out um so we can just do this now and we need to change the webhook response to 302 i found that through some other tutorial and we can add a custom header and the key is location and then the value is going to be the link that we want to be redirecting to so that means we want people to be redirected to this over here and then the media name is going to be the variable from the webhook response so that is the answer being given uh, by the user and so we have all of this data assigned to blah 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 but we only need answer one which is usa say okay okay and now when we hit save and we uh, turn it on let's see what's going to be happening uh, we go back to the Calendly view live page uh, Ahmed Ahmed I'll just use my own email address Ahmed from Algeria and I'll say schedule event you are scheduled with Ronald and as you can see in, in make this is happening and the user is ending in Algeria and so this way uh, we are able to be giving custom redirects so based on people's answers showing them directly the relevant information and this is just one of the very very small possibilities of the whole automation world using webhooks and all that and uh, this is what I'm, I'm very excited about um, so well 
I think that's about it. If you're getting excited about using this as well um, and want to start with uh, Make to have your own webhooks in there, it might be nice to use my referral link. So, um, you know, I have it right over here on the screen, also in the description below, um, as a nice uh, way of saying thank you. It's always appreciated. And, well, hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.